Hi, John here. Today it's um, Wednesday, the 23rd of uh, January 2018. I'm just going to ring the lawyer and see if I can make an appointment to see him. Yes, Nadia, could I speak to um, Tony Fortune? Tony, one moment. Thank you. Yes, Nadia, this is Tony Fortune. Hi, uh, Tony, it's John Wanoa speaking in uh, yes. South Auckland. Um, I wonder if I can make an appointment to see you tomorrow to um, notarise some documents for me, please. Okay. Uh, what time tomorrow are you wanting? What are these documents? Where are they to be used? They're going to be going to be apostolised um, to send to Britain. Right. Okay. So I've got them all, all, all. They're running a period of time of history right back uh, to 2008 uh, with uh, British matters and um, uh, native history here that's on the Marais and uh, out in public. Okay. Uh, They're books more so um, that are formulated in, in signed and, and notarised by JP and all those sort of things. I'm on the, I'm on the that's the legal side of forming documents. Right. The fact cited um, evidence documents. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, I could see you uh, in the afternoon tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. 2.30? Uh, yeah, 2.30 be fine. How many documents? There's about 30 books. They're okay. all, all formulated and signed statement um, books. They're, they're bound, bound copies of everything. Right, okay. That's in its fullest form. So, um, um, so that's there the, the, um, to be used in the British uh, Westminster, going straight there. Yes. Because that's a requirement for having a, 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 obtaining an apostille. Yes. So, yes. Uh, so, so it's, <clears throat> it's 480 an hour plus GST. Do you have an email that I can send you to yes. confirmation of that? Yes, it's um, Moai Energy, M O A I Energy, E N E R G Y. M O A I the Moai statue. I'm the okay. representing. I'm, I'm, I'm from that uh, right. site. Moai M O Moai Energy at gmail dot com. John Wanoa. W A N O A. If you right. give me a um, a price to do them, and um, the the um, bound copies. And right. as a package, and then I, I, I will, um, I'll, I will, I will certainly um, sort that out um, if it's reasonable enough. It should be, um, but um, it's important anyway. Sure, um, so no, I understand. So that's M A O R I E N E R G Y, all one word. Uh, yeah, oh, it's M O for orange. Moai. You know the Moai statues on East Island. 
oh, my, the okay. big, the big my. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm under history and for that. I'm under history and for the, all the history. It's in these books, documents. So my family is from there. Uh, so that's all those big memorials standing in London, France, Belgium, um, right. Washington. Those are my title. Um, M-O-I Moai Energy at gmail.com M-O-A-I Energy at gmail.com That's the one, yeah, yes. That's right. I'll send that detail through to you mm -hmm. and I can see you at 2.30 and I'll get um, uh, now we're at the viaduct. Viaduct, yeah. Um, and I'll get my secretary to send you parking detail. Uh, no, uh, I'll be coming in on the, on the rail, so that's okay. Oh, okay. I'll do a bit of walking. That's fine. So, yes, well, we're at, at level 5, 12 Viaduct Harbour Avenue. Level 5, um, level 5, 12 tw Viaduct five, Harbour Avenue. Viaduct Harbour Avenue, Harbour Avenue. So that's, yes, uh, it's just not too far to walk from the... Yeah, that's right. I from need, the station. Yeah, I need I need to exercise, you know, so I'll do a bit of walking. So, um, is, um, I, I'm, I'll ask you, if you can, for me, I've got uh, Graham Aylett, Um he's my representative, he's an ex-Scotland um, 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 Yard, he's here in, in Browns Bay. If, if I can have a letter to him to forward with these documents, because he's handling everything for me. He's a okay. private investigator, he's the... Um, he, he's following the case things right through, all, all these history okay. here in Britain. So if I can get a note to him as well for those documents once you do them, then I appreciate it. He, okay. He'll be representing me here in Britain, in, in Westminster. All, all these things, are, are he's got all the, all the documents, everything. That's okay. to go through well, the system, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, well, I'll get an email sent to you mm -hmm. and come back to me with further details, but otherwise I'll see you at 2.30 yeah. tomorrow afternoon. Great, that's very good. Fine. Thank Bye. you, Tony. Bye. Bye. See you then. Bye. Well, there we go. There's Tony Manning from Fortune Manning. This is going to set a pattern of events. It's going to cost a bit of money, but <clears throat> we've got to do it. We've got all these documents here to apostolise. And my friend, Morris Lobo Baker, this is his D title in here. Okay, ready to apostolise. Into Britain. Once I make law of contract, the contract becomes law, and the law is the contract right there straight to the British Empire. If you're watching in Britain, <coughs> uh, people of Britain, UK, Hanover, and also Altair New Zealand, Pacific Islands, are making bold statements here that we're going through since all the documents I have are around 30 documents altogether, bound, some big, some small, and this one, the main Magistrate Court, Sheriff's Court. I'll just put some documents on Facebook of Sheriff's Court. That's who I'm operating here. Okay, I'm acting surrogate king <coughs> here. And this is our real oath of office king, Ernest Augustus V. Dutchman, he's got his eight point star there. So this book is dedicated to him and his jurisdiction of admiralty that I'm holding at the moment on behalf of his ancestor, King William III, King William IV and King George IV. Those three kings and our Native Magistrate Court, Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, 
New Zealand, the chiefs have signed. All these documents, all these books are signed on Marae. The Marae is the highest court in the land that you see in this picture here. Okay, this is a spare one. That Marae is Tahike Marae of Lobo, Morris Baker, and these trees are the trees of trade with London and Hokianga. Over here, okay. Okay, I've got a bigger picture of that in these documents. And um, I say this to all those people who are in Hori Tikuri, Whakapapa, these are commercial contracts from Britain. Now, there's no one, there's absolutely no one who knows how that works in any of the descendants of Horitikuri, not even the English side. They would not have all these 30 documents that are, are about to be apostolized, legalized, into law. Okay, so that's how we're going to place it and present it to the government. And there's my seal of apostoly there. The coat of arms of Rogan and Cosgrove in Northern Ireland, Belfast, and the eight-point star on my head of St. Patrick, the Patrick family in Northern Ireland, Belfast. Okay, that's my family, my title, and the flag of King William III, King George IV, and King William IV, right there. The British Empire. Okay, and the coat of arms of those kings. Here, yeah, the three kings and the three chiefs. Huri Tikuri, for Lobo. Rewhere for Manikau. And Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau. For me, as their executor, commercial trade bank magistrate, creditor. Assigning banker inheritor of that trust inheritance, the Moriori Manika Trust, my Crown King William IV Trust, and all its commercial contract revenue. Okay, so these books are just about finished. Now that I'm happy with our Lawyer, <clears throat> he must have been giving it a bit of thought from yesterday, but I think he knows I'm serious. I am really serious. And I'm just doing John Keys. Oh, just one more time. Um, to all the descendants of Horitikuri up in the northern region, I say this. You are descendants of Horitikuri. That's on the Queen's side. I'm talking about the king side, the king of commerce, the king of the sea, the king's bench, royal revenue, prized possessions, and conquered lands, leased lands, and occupation titles that create money through municipalities as this eight point star here in the four corners of the earth globe on this flag. Now, what I'm thinking about it, Donald Trump, you have no king of commerce, you have no seal of Westminster or the Queen in the British Empire. You had no right to force martial law in your country without a license of these three kings of commerce and in particular King William III, the Bank of England Act 1694, the Pound Note Act 1694, the Minings Act of Coins, Gold Coins 1694, 
that belongs to this eight point star municipalities in a sheriff's court. And I'm acting in my own competent witness as standalone. My word against yours. Next week, or this week, sorry, Friday, 26. I'm hoping to get these apostolized next week, but sign and notarize with Tony Fortune Manning lawyers approved by the Internal Affairs of New Zealand Government. I'm making this known to you first as witnesses saw it, cited it and discovered it with me online on this social media. I'm showing you these books. I will show you tomorrow when I finish them all, one book at a time, to publicly notify you of the British Empire and its native two-party contract partnership, private, with me, Lomo, and Matt Taylor in Brighton, England, and Jackie Little Gordon. There's been two British people there, citizens of Britain, and me and Morris Baker, Lobo, as native here. Now, I'll say this to all you Maori people. In a British court system of law, of kings, everyone is the same on this side of the court as far as claimants are concerned with what we recover with these dead instruments. These dead instruments in John Key, the trillion pounds on his birth certificate seized. There are instruments for every person on earth is a trillion pounds per birth certificate to recover all the debt back to 1830 Tira Waikato for and King George IV private contract. It's nobody's business to know anything about that. And in that year <coughs> of 1823 was this contract made with these trees in 1823 between the British and the native chiefs of that time. Hori was in 1882. Referee from Manukau made a contract with John Rogan in 1862, Native Land Act, New Zealand. That's what formed the Native Land Act in New Zealand was Referee from Manukau in capitals, his name, as the seller and John Rogan for King William IV and this way as the buyer. Buyer and seller. Private contract. Nobody's business to inquire into our business. Okay, I'm just trying to find the um doesn't matter. Free free for money cars on this one. Yeah. Okay, it's the refer for money car right here. Okay, see his name in capital letters? My name Wano is in capital letters. I've joined it with him as his successor, a commercial landowner. I am his commercial landowner partner partner. Nobody else's business. And John Rogan. John Rogan. Here, Mr. Rogan. But John Rogan in all the documents in here. Okay, so I've split them out into separate books so that I can apostolize each one. And this book here is to be apostolized with John Key. I'm just going to put a colored photo on the front to replace this one before I bound it up. I'm showing you all these things and the seal of Te Rewakato Wharehere in and Hongihika on there. Hongihika did not make any contract. For those people up north, 
he did not make any contract with King George IV. And those King, King Hori is fake. I'm not going to wear that, not in these. If, if you've got a King Hori, you better come to this hearing this Friday with your title because you've got 30 of these books getting legalized right now. All of that to get passed. And you've got to get it right. If you get it wrong, you're stuck with this town note on your head. So I'm warning anybody, I'm acting British Empire. Okay, my name, Wanoa, is in capitals. The police arrested me. And the name came back on the packet as Wanoa in capitals. That's a commercial contract landowner. Okay, they're helping themselves to my account. And that's what I'm seizing off them with the authority of all of this. Once this lawyer seals it as a notary, I'm paying them for it. Well, Lobo is, rather. I'm going to ring him shortly. I better ring him now. I'll ring him. In fact, I'll ring him now and tell him the good news. He'll be happy. He does. Nope, he's out on the road. I'll get him in the, in the van, in the car, truck. I'll ring Marianne. She'll answer the phone and give it to him. Get up, Marianne. Is he sitting right beside you there? Okay. How are you? I'm Billy. I'm Beauty. I just want to tell the good news, that's all. <laughs> oh, okay. We're just coming down the hill on that way. We're just going to turn into the shop now. I'll give them the phone. Okay, good, good. Uh, cool. How's the job going, all right? Hi. Uh -huh. all, all good day? Yeah, all good. All, my, all good job. Is yeah, my, mate, yeah. my mate doing some <laughs> hop skipping around too? <laughs> Hard, hardly. He's like there a... He's, he's like a he's like a power family yeah, stuck. Right here. Okay, Mr. Morris, Hello. I have good news to report. Hey? I have good news to report. Oh. <laughs> I just got off the phone to the lawyer, to uh, Mr. Fortune from Fortune Manning, one of the top lawyers for notarizing documents to go to Britain. So yeah. I had a good talk with him, and so I'm going to see him tomorrow. Awesome. And um, but whatever it is, we're going to do it. He's going to he's going to write a letter for for the um, uh, private investigator because yeah. I asked him to do it. That's what the private investigator wanted a letter from him, and he'll do that too. And um, so he knows. I think he had a good think about it yesterday when I left the message that I'll ring him, or yeah. to ring me. Mm. Yeah. I think he must have did a search on me because he he, he's, he looks like he's taking it seriously. So anyway, uh, anyway, um, um, it's he said his charge is 450 an hour. It's worth it because he should yeah. get it done within an hour. There's enough there. There's enough hey, there. No, no, no. Whatever money we need, it's here. Yeah, so... Yeah, so we're going... Yeah, so he's. Yeah, so so. Yeah, that's right. So. Yeah, so these all these thirty books are going to get done, and and he, he can he can seal the whole lot one shot, right? He he'll 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 seal the whole lot one shot, and then I put it in a, a box, and and they'll be off to um, 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 Wellington. I've got to get them registered and pay the return so that it comes back paid. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll put a prepaid so that when they get it and finish with it, it's paid and I'll send it back straight back. But shit, man, a thing like this, you would go and drive down and stay with it. <laughs> Wouldn't want it to go missing. 
Uh, but I'm going to go down there. Eh? I'm going to drive around there with a fucking driver. I'd rather drive than bloody even go. I'd rather. I'd rather. Go down and sit, sit no, no, the thing is, it takes seven days, up to seven days. Oh. So that's, oh, yeah. that's the problem. Well, I don't know if you know, I yeah. know that it is secure. Yeah. That, you know that. No, the, otherwise, man, if you're going to go down, we'll go down. Yeah, so as long as we take it and physically take it there, you yeah. know. And and hand it over because it's a big box full. I've got to get a proper proper post box that to put all the documents in because it it's it, it's thirty of them. All those books in the bag I picked out all the ones I want to do. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Oh oh okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm happy because I had a good talk with him, and um, he's he's going to do it. But most of all, the letter to uh, Graham, um, the, the private investigator, once I get yeah. that, I'll take it straight to him and the books. I'll take him to, so he can cite the books. And, 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 and um, I need to scan them. I need to, I'll come back home, scan them, then go back up um, to see him. Because just, I'll go downtown. They're on the waterfront, this, this lawyer. So from there, I come home, I scan them all. After the signatures, then I shoot over the shore to see the the, the private investigator, so that he can cite the books, and and I, I go and take the letter. I'm not gonna. I, I go and take the letter. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. No. No. It's, it's, it's bang on, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna make anything slip here. Oh, hey, I got your computer. I gotta pick it up. I've got to pick it up tomorrow. Oh no, Friday. When we go back, we're going to pick it up. Yeah. It's up in Swanson, so we can shortcut through there to the to to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to pick it up. Oh, awesome. It's all complete, and it was only a hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. 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 What's that? Yeah. No, I might be there. I'll go and have a look afterwards. I'll go and have a look afterwards. So. Man, your book, your book looks good with your your coloured photo there, man. <laughs> your book looks good with your coloured photo with with the Marai. <laughs> it looks really good. I I got my printer going, you see, and I coloured photos. I put the coloured photos to make the books look impressive. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if those people, yeah, if those people argue about. Kuri Takuri is their, is their tupuna. It's nothing to do with anybody. This is commercial, commercial contracts. Nothing to do with anything. Okay? Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. So I better let you folks get away with it because rubbish might fly out of the truck. <laughs> okay? That's the latest news. I'll just finish everything and, and prepare for tomorrow. Okay? All right, cheers. Hey, um, Marianne, cheers. See ya. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to go. F don't forget to make him run around. <laughs> oh, that's my mates. They're in the rubbish truck, a little one. They go around picking all the rubbish up. So they're a little team, and um, um, it's not the best of jobs to go around picking people's rubbish up, and a lot of it. Uh, but anyway, it's a job. She's got a good reputation, Miriam, um, uh, uh, with the council, and uh, and so has Lobo. It doesn't pull in your punches. Uh, I like him because he's straight up, honest, straight out with it. He doesn't mind advertising how we feel and how we think. All right? So you, you're hearing it from us. That's how it's going to be all the way. Everything's straight up. No bugging around with humbug bullshit. So, John Key, here, this is his book here. I'm going to put a coloured photo, printed out, coloured photo in his apostolate. Uh, so, it's, there's these trillion pound here, and you've got Ernest Augustus there, behind there. These are all the things that are stacked up against them. And there's 970 million trillion trillion pound note there. I'm going to make a card one. 
I've got a coloured one over there uh, to go with it in here. But, um, but that's the evidence, all this here against John Key. And everything that we're claiming with the British Empire, all this documents will be notarised tomorrow because it's in depth. I've spent 20 years or so putting these together in New Zealand's title right there. Okay? It's marked out. It's got a 400 mile zone out into the oceans. And that's this, not 200 miles, 400 miles. Okay? That's the extended area. They put 38 trillion of worth minerals and resources, natural resources in the sea. You can double that to this figure. Okay? And things like this, these are facts. King George. The third. Tucker paper, 1833. Right there. Right? That's before the flag was brought out in 1834. <coughs> There's 1833. In 1834, it says, having addressed the New Zealanders as an independent people in 1833, Tucker paper, it was put on the approved government printing, um, British government printing office, and have recognised their national flag in 1834. Captain James Reddy Clendon, 20th of March, 1834. That's when this flag was given. And that's the end of that. That's our legal authority. And that's why I'm speaking like this to you. Okay, I'm speaking dressed up like this. I can put all the good stuff on, but at the moment I'm not there yet. Okay, so I've got to finish these books off. And um, I'm proud of my mate, um, Lobo. That was him just on the phone there, a minute ago, with Mary and his wife, okay? And Tahike Marae, top of the pops, okay? This is commercial. This is commercial. What we're doing with this eight-point star flag is commercial in a Marae as being the eight-point star of St. Patrick's Order. <coughs> And Taheke Marae right there. That's the picture I was trying to find. Taheke Marae right there. And London right there. And Hokianga right there. This is a British Empire title. And I'm speaking for the British Empire as a true surname native. Okay. Lobo is the baker and his ancestors that came across on these ships from Britain with the British flag, but he's under this flag in his native <coughs> connections to Hori Tikuri, the paramount chief of Wesley Church in Furinaki, <coughs> as um, stationed to Taheke Marae as a minister in charge of the titles to the land. All that land up north, down to, right from the north, down to Awaroa in Helensville, is under his name in this British title deed here. A deed here, which says, eighty acres of land, one land, of ten blocks he's got back. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sort out. I've got plans ready to go. Ready to go. And the name of Puritikuri to Hiramaya Puritikuri. Okay, that's his name. That's his descendant from Hiramaya to Morris Baker. There's others that come into that family, but they don't have the deeds, okay? You can't go into a commercial contract without deeds, and all the deeds are settled in courts, and you had to know what you're doing with all these books here, 
Pull these both. Like this. This is for Jamie and I here with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note here. As being Patrick family. She's the Patrick family here. And I'm going to my Patrick family in Belfast. So you people in Belfast, I'm coming with these notes. Okay, I'll just put the notes in here as a reference to who we are in our surnames. Okay, in our surnames. The Patrick surname and Jamie's mum, Patrick. It's the Patrick. Okay, so that's her line, but they don't know anything about this. They don't know how this works. And that's the laws of King William the Fourth, eighteen thirty, thirty to eighteen thirty-seven. I'm using these laws on anybody. Okay, so I've got the right, the legal right, right up to eighteen thirty-seven. Eighteen thirty-seven. Okay. We're still in a contract with these laws and this flag. It's none of anybody's business to be playing around with it. We're going to find, I'm going to do an audit on all the accounts of Treasury in Britain, HM Treasury and New Zealand Treasury. I'm going to order that once these are apostolized. There's nothing anybody can do about it because it's too late. And there's the chief. This is for properties. Back in 2008, here, this is another apostolate to be sealed into law. These are contracts on the people who have named anybody's name, like this guy here, Bev Hilton. This woman here, Bev Hilton, she'll be old now, she'll be really old. <coughs> yeah, and Mohi Manika is dead, and me. That's in Diversity Lane in Papatoi, Puhinui Road, where the new motorway is. And this guy here, this guy here, this cheeky guy, I don't know what his name is, Steve Phil, and Larry Syrup. Steve Phil, yeah. yeah. So those guys, I'm going after them. This is the hui for the Confederation of United Tribes of Aotearoa, Tuesday, the 27th of October, 2009, at 10 p.m. to 3 p.m. This is how I did my, my huis. Venue, Te Tahu, Te Tahi Tunu Marae Hawaiki in Epsom. That was the other marae I was going to with this full court hearing with all them chiefs. Right, and all these people here, we're going after. We're going to make them pay for holding me up and tampering with my contracts. I've got all the right to speak the king. Okay, so we've got all the names here of all these in this one. There's John Key in this one. These are all the thugs operating this country for themselves. Okay, for themselves gone through a lot of trouble to catch them in the fall. And this one here <coughs> is Doug Rickard Bell. If you're watching this Doug Rickard Bell, I'm coming after you. And Aaron Pascoe. You see this guy, Aaron Pascoe? This is the mongrel who cordoned off Tuhoi and made those kids lie on the ground and booted them out of the bus and locked them up in the shed. This bastard. He's going, he's, I'm going to fucking hang him. Okay? I'm going to put him in prison. That's a police for you. They're doing it. And this bastard that came from Australia with Don Grant, the Surveyor General, that went to be the boss of Linz, hid everything after I'd gone into Cook Street. They got him over to get in my road. And there's David Lindsay Mackey here. Got all this. All these documents. Got all this stuff. And his book in the High Court of Admiralty in London, all right? But I didn't have the money to pay for it. That's why. I've never had the money to pay for it. <coughs> and all these documents here are online 
as evidence, facts cited evidence, are going to be apostolized. Okay? All these, all these, and some of them have turned on me. Okay? Some of them have turned on me. There's Graham Ayler there. That's, he's still there for me, although I haven't paid him, but that'll change. I'm expected to cover his cost to get this going, because he just wanted a letter from these are all the titles, the original titles to Cook Street, the deeds. Okay, so you, you people, the NA81B528, right there. That's that title. That's never had the Manuka name put on it. Okay, so all the titles, the QVs, everything here, in real estate. That's just all the information on the block here. You see? I've gone through a lot of trouble putting together with meetings after meetings after meetings at Waitangi. And the blockheads up there didn't understand. Mind you, they signed, but didn't understand. And this proclamation, this proclamation that I'm appointed as a surrogate king. Okay? This one. Panama Papers. Junkie. This this was another order on Thursday, the second to the sixth of February, two thousand seventeen had a twenty twenty one gun salute. This one. We gone through a lot of trouble in the mind. We had our meeting uh, up there in the uh, RSA because the Marae got locked out. You see? The bastards locked it out. So these, you know, there's some more in that big bag here. I'll, I'll show you. These are, all, these are all what a magistrate can in here. It'll be bigger than this. Okay? These are, these are all the books. So all these constitute a magistrate, a sheriff's court. Uh, magistrate court and the highest court of this rank. All these books in here. Going back through the years, I put all these together myself. I'm the author of these books. All these big books. Okay? You see it's all ragged because it's been through so many hoods, so many so many meetings. And this one. This is I want to tell you a little story about this one. This one is gonna head off and bankrupt the Bank of England and bankrupt the Bitcoin. This is the King's gold coin. The British Empire gold coin is going to smash all you fiat monies in America and your bullshit Bitcoins. Money for jam. Money for nothing. You're going to get caught with this King and me and all the people in the world who are pistol for you. <coughs> this one, Ancient HM Treasury. Okay, that's another one. I claim I'm going straight to the some Treasury with this one, with my name on it. Okay, some lawyer in a, in a banker put this together for me and took off with the money, 16 million, right there. That's going to be sealed and apostolized and it becomes a law. I'll go and find them with that. So you've got this one, another old one. Kingsman's property search and seizure warrant. That one is a warrant to arrest, you see. These, 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 these are real documents that were put together. This was the one when those stupid marshals, UN marshals, Maori, went with this, their seal spoke my book. But I'm going to leave it there because it, they mean nothing to me. The Hawaiian jurisdiction doesn't apply here. Only Moai crown King William for jurisdiction. And they're flying this flag in the wrong reasons. If you're flying this flag, you're flying it for Maori. That's why no one takes you seriously, because it's not for Maori. That flag is not for Maori. There was no Maori in those days. The Queen fabricated that story, and you've gone and bought into it. That's your fault. That's your fault. That's why the Maori Party disappeared. The Manu Party disappeared. The Mary Link was going to disappear soon, but I'm grabbing it back into the King's Bench Court jurisdiction, straight into Britain, and seize all the lens titles because of what I just showed you, tampering with a two-party contract. Third party, John King.
all the Prime Ministers and Governor Generals, here's John Key, wearing the eight point star. Now, he's got to defend himself and turn up at this hearing next week because this is his death bill here from Annex, Britain. This will be apostolized and they get Annex, I'm going to get Annex to recover 970 million trillion trillion pound note over many years. You're going to have to pay it all back. Okay? So that's John Key illegally wearing the eight point star that I wear here. Now, you believe him or me with all these 30 apostolized, legal, legalized documents. And what has he got? A runaway train. He's run away from New Zealand and abandoned everybody. Got his money, sold his properties before he gets caught in the Panama Papers. That's his fraud. His bill is coming with it. There's his invoices. 970 million trillion trillion pound note on a key. All of them. All of the Crown agents that come under Queen Elizabeth II and the Rothschild banks, the Church and State, the United Nations, the EU Parliament, IMF, World Bank, NATO, <coughs> Bank of England, Queen Elizabeth II, these are all private companies. Washington DC private company, Vatican City private company, Israel private company, ISIS private company, <coughs> City of London private company, Intuition New Zealand Limited private company, Waitangi National Trust private company, and this one. Look at this one. I'm, I'm going to apostolize this one. It will shock you. That's the police have got their own private company. Okay. New Zealand Private Police Limited. That's where the thugs are putting the money, people. And this is to be apostolized. Bound up, sealed, and going after them with 970 million trillion trillion dollars. Right on their heads. This is the crookery, people. They've got this company ahead of your interest. This is treason. Treason. They're picking up uh, all the auctions, police auctions, guess where it goes. And the CIB is mixed up with it too. They use my birth certificate as money against me to hook out of the system. If I knew where it was, anyway, we'll worry about it. I'm just saying my birth certificate, my name in capitals, you've seen it enough times, that I'm using that as fraud. Fraud, identity, identity theft. Fraud, identity theft of my trust account that they won't identify with. This is a wonderful book, this one. It's got all my history in it. Of East Coast in depth. The East Coast in depth. You'll never get around this. And the Rick Warren here. Rick of Position Warren. Right here. Okay? When he seals these books, all of these documents in here goes into order. The Rick of Position Order. Okay? Anything will be sealed against 970 million trillion pound note and our king. Yeah. See? They're all sealed. Now they'll be sealed somewhere. I'm just trying to find that ever. 
<clears throat> oh, who's my somebody? Garrick Tom Okay, so um I'll get back on charge, I don't like the phone running out. I'm having a wonderful day. My girlfriend will be happy in Philippines because I've been holding her from going to Philippines to meet her, but that can wait. Well, I'm finished. I can't find a better one. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I've got <coughs> As you can see here, Memorandum of Agreement between J.R. Clinton James Reedy Clinton, master of the city of Edinburgh. See it in brackets? That's a corporation. Okay? That's a corporation where he's buying and selling lands. Okay? So I'm buying and selling lands <coughs> in reverse. Seizing lands that are fraudulent titles. I just want to find that. I'm just, I, I think what I'll do is I'll just finish the video off so I can get on with it. Oh, here, this one. You see, this and its depth. This map here of the East Cape where I'm from is 1831. It's the Church of England, the St. Mary's Church. The birth certificates were made from this church title in 1831 and 1823 where um, the regis registrar magistrate office was in the schoolhouse at Rangitoki. Okay, the resident um, magistrate. You think I've got to put that photo on, on right on the front page. The one I'm looking for, my birth certificate. I've got it right there. And it should be right on the front page. And I'll put it on the front page. I'm just saying the, 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 with the word Wano in capitals. Okay? But anyway, <clears throat> today, I'm just going to finish binding off these documents and then get them ready for tomorrow. Got to pick up a computer for Morris. Waiting for his, uh, his mobile phone, the same as this fast phone. And, um, Hopefully it's in the mail there. I'll go and check in a minute. And um, I'll be putting these documents, get a box for it to post. I'll take them over in the bag. Um, and then I've got to get them sealed and come back, scan them all with all the seals on it. Then up to see the um, private investigator so he can cite all the books, and take the letter. I'll give him a copy of the letter to him from the notary um, lawyer approved by the government to notarise these documents to go into the internal affairs and from the internal affairs to the British foreign affairs. That's to the 250 countries through the British Empire in Westminster.
I'm just saying this now to you, Jackie Little Gordon, my Jackie Little Gordon and Andy. We're on a roll here, but it's a long time coming. I think my head is toasted from radiation in these computers, one, two, three, going at the same time. And um, the mobile phones, three of them going at the same time as well. And the smart meter over there, and the fan guy. It's not very good for the... <coughs> um, I'm feeling the effects of it. But, however, I'll just keep pushing on. I'll, I'll leave all the, all, all, all the recovery from till after I send these off to Wellington. I'm expecting the two landowners of 77 Cook Street, or rather proprietors, to turn up at the hearing for them on Friday, this Friday, at 10 o'clock. Because if you don't turn up in your silence, this time we'll be seizing the property and any other property in this country the same way. Okay? Kid me not. These documents, I didn't put them together over 20 years for nothing. So I'm just going to show you my site here where I've just posted oh, it's slow, uh, some documents on my website. And um, I'll turn it on there now. I'll show you. Okay. I have 97 Facebook sites out of 107 left. The other ones went missing. I'm not going to worry about where they went because there's enough of them there. Now I'll just put this on here. The City of London, the Black Mayor, is for convenience. That's the mayor, the, the mayor there. There is a Mayor of London itself, but the Mayor of London in this corporation, the City of London Corporation, is what this, all this, what I'm doing, all this, what I'm doing. Okay, all those. And whatever I'm putting together over there, those, and the documents in that bag that I just showed you, constitutes that outfit there that's screwing everyone in the world. The Queen and the Rothschild Banks runs the City of London private company. Okay, so I'm a private company as well in London. My powerhouse group limited limited company with a billion shares and the parent company here, Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, with one of a trillion shares that's offsetting Nati Fatua. I'm going to put them out of business with Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Okay, that word is more truer than the sense of what they have, Nati Fatua, is fraud. It's a corrupted iwi ISIS company that has no interest in us here as a threat. They are a threat to our national heritage, our national interest, our national security, and our economy, our inheritance, and our identity as native people and people of New Zealand. Uh, now, I'll put these documents here. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put this here as District Courts of Scotland. I'm going under the Scottish Act because of this City of Edinburgh I just told you about in a minute ago. The City of Edinburgh here. This. Okay. Enclosure number 780 on these Manukau District titles, deeds. Okay. City of Edinburgh right there. And the Master. The Master is the one who is selling the land, or buying the land. He bought the land of Ref Ref Manukau and a few other chiefs. So that I'm saying, we're going on this and all of this. Okay? So the Courts of Reform Act 2014, I'm going under these acts, <coughs> and the Court of Session Act 1830 was when King William IV became king. Okay, so it's in his time, these documents, the Courts of Session there, I'm linking myself to the Courts of Sessions, and this is what I write. King William IV, Acts of Westminster, 1832-1834 period, applies to my Crown, King William IV, Federal State Government, UK, New Zealand, Admiralty. That's what I'm going under at the moment. We're operating a dual government with Britain in the British Empire, kings, the three kings, King William IV, King William III, King William IV, and King George IV. Okay? Those three kings and the three chiefs, Refere from Manukau, 
Tira Waikato Wharehere Manukau and Horitakuri. Okay, so we come down here.